Soccer rules are changing to protect kids. The Michigan Youth Soccer League has now banned heading for kids 10 and under and limits the amount of heading in practice as well. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell spoke to one person who knows the risk firsthand. It was unexpected. 21-year-old Tatum Zorowski is a senior and soccer player at University of Detroit Mercy. She's been playing soccer since before kindergarten. She didn't think she would get hurt heading a ball. Supposed to hit your forehead, your frontal bone, but instead the ball took an accidental hit off the top of my head and it joggled my brain enough where I had a minor concussion. She later felt dizzy and couldn't concentrate. She had had a concussion. Knowing it happened to her, she approves of the rule changes announced by the Michigan Youth Soccer League. The rules ban heading and practicing games for kids 10 and under. The goal? To protect kids. After studies found both concussions and subconcussive head trauma, can permanently impact the brain. We know that kids are more susceptible to concussion. They have potential for a longer symptom duration, as well as difficulties in school following concussion as a, as a result of the injury. So anything we can do to prevent them from having concussion at a young age is a step in the right direction. Dr. Brad Merker works in the sports concussion clinic at Henry Ford Hospital. He says he hopes coaches don't just delay heading, but make sure kids know how to do it as safely as possible. They're not going to think about heading the ball the right way either because they're just excited to play the game and learn the game. So I would say that this is definitely a good direction to go in. And with proper techniques, we can also reduce the likelihood of them sustaining some type of injury. Doctors will be watching closely to see what happens to see if there are less injuries under these new rules. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.